Today we're going to talk about a subject that a lot of people ask me questions about. Particularly people that have never been to a motorcycle rally before. So today we're going to address those concerns and tell people what they should expect when they go to a motorcycle rally on today's Greybeard Biker. <laughs> Welcome. Hello, everyone. Particularly hello to those of you that are new motorcyclists. Welcome to the wild world of motorcycle rallies. Now, before you rev up those engines, there's a few things that you should know before you head to a rally. First off, Understand that rallies come in all different sizes. Not every gathering is a Sturgis or a Daytona. So don't expect fireworks and fanfare everywhere you go. There are big ones, medium sized, small. There are even places that call themselves rally, but are really just customer appreciation events for dealerships. We do videos for the rallies we go to so you can see exactly what to expect from that specific event that you're considering based on real world experience. Number two, yes, you will spot motorcycle clubs around rallies, but not all of them are outlaw clubs. Most will leave you be if you show respect. It's a sort of situation. Number three, prepare your wallets, folks. There are plenty of vendors there selling everything from biker gear to trinkets. Smaller events will even have non-motorcycle related vendors. My advice, shop first before you just buy the first thing that you see. One, there may be a better version or a better price down the way. And second, because you don't want to have to carry everything that you've bought with you the entire time. Some places will hold it for you till you can come back and get it on your way out. Number four, if you have a haircut like mine, don't forget sunscreen. The sun is a cruel mistress out there. Five, ah, the sights. There will be pretty girls trying to sell you things if the vendor is smart. This includes solicitations from insurance companies and bartenders specifically. They are there to talk to you. You are not being singled out and most of them are very nice ladies. In the same or similar vein, there may be a bikini bike wash. Most of these, not all, most of these are not great at washing your bike. They are eye candy that wash your bike so that they have a reason to be there in bikinis. And if it's free, they're asking for your tips. Now, at a club, it's different. These girls that do a bike wash at a club usually know how to wash a bike and can pay likely closer attention than you can on what all needs to be done. But at an event, I found that the chances of running into these skilled ladies it's pretty rare. So if you want to get your bike washed, watch first. See if they know what they're doing or if you just need to relax and enjoy the sights. Still a service, you just need to know what you're getting. There'll likely be someone doing motorcycle service. This is a great way to not have to wait at a dealership. These people are skilled at turnover and it beats waiting at a dealership any day. And some people, some people are concerned that they'll rush through and cut corners, but that's not my experience. Most of these are good people. And something else to note, a lot of vendors, if you buy something there, they'll install it on your bike at no additional cost. So take advantage of that. So you don't have to wait at a dealer, nor do you have to wait until you get home to install your part. Speaking of waiting, just like at the movie theater, know that food and drink is going to be over. 
priced. You can bring your own, but then you have to carry it. And that sucks. Yep, there's always that one guy. Don't let it ruin your day. It's not worth starting a brawl over. Speaking of that, some people are concerned that there will be fights. Thankfully, fights are rare. We're here to ride, not rumble. So while fights have happened, they aren't a common sight, even though there's quite a bit of alcohol consumption going on. But just don't be stupid. Be wary of trying to start an argument with a drunk. You don't know how people are going to react to alcohol. And don't drive your motorcycle if you're drunk. That's just stupid. Driving a car drunk is dangerous enough, but a bike? Just don't. Drink responsibly, folks. Use Uber or make a buddy. Oh, and keep your eye out for Johnny Law. Most are there to keep the peace, not rain on your parade. But know the motorcycle laws of the area the rally is in. This could include helmet laws, handlebar laws, turn signal laws, eye protection laws, exhaust laws. Just a little research coupled with not asking for trouble, and you should be fine. Look up the firearm laws as well. Also a heads up, some places won't let you wear your colors. They don't hate you. They're just trying to protect themselves from territorial pissings, as Nirvana used to call it. Fighting over whose territory it is. So just respect the rules or go somewhere else. And it's not just about this club versus that club. It's also about, I can't wear mine in here, but he can, and then that's starting a fight. What I wear is a back patch. It's not a club. It's for Greybeard Biker. My wife has a back patch for Biker Barbie. So you can have a back patch on your vest. Just don't fly your club colors if they have a policy against it. 14 or whatever number we're on. A lot of times, manufacturers will be there among the vendors in Vendor Village, which gives you a unique opportunity. If you've got questions about your ride, here's the chance for you to pick the brains of the pros or to hold them accountable. Now, if you're up for it, there's usually a group ride happening somewhere. You just gotta seek it out or set one up of your own. A lot of these event cities have great riding and the group rides can be a way of helping you see some places that you might not know about if you're from out of town. Now, a lot of these events will have photographers that are out on the road taking photos, hoping that you will purchase them. I did a video about the ones in Daytona. It's right here if you want to see it. But other places have these photographers as well, places like Laconia, I know they have them too. If you know about other rallies that have these types of photographers, leave them in the comments below, including where they normally hang out to take photos so that other people can know as well. Oh, and expect to see some skin. There will be scantily clad women. Generally, kids don't go to these events. And because of that, women show how free they are. Don't be disrespectful. We all love beautiful women. 18, there will be commemorative items for sale most of the time. Smaller wannabe rallies, maybe not, but most small, medium, and larger rallies will have shirts, poker chips, pins, those sorts of things. I used to collect shirts, but I got too many. So now I collect pins to go on my vest to mark where I've been. And now I'm getting too many of those too. Parking. Parking is easier in the morning. If you are late, you're going to have to find a place to park. Also, be wary of folks selling you parking. Some places like churches wanting to make money off of parking donations by letting people park in their parking lot is understandable. A parking deck is understandable but some random dude collecting money with no uniform and a Sharpie poster board? Yeah, it's kind of sketchy, so be careful. I go out of my way to not pay for parking. 
And lastly, you will find conservative or libertarian everything. Motorcycling is about freedom. The nanny state is not part of that. This is no place for nanny state politics. Freedom's the name of the game here. For those that don't know, libertarian is that don't tell me what to do. And the attitude runs strong in the biker community. If you're from the left, best keep that to yourself. Keep a low profile. And a little bonus insight here. Bikers are good people at heart. Some of the best people that you'll ever meet. So hopefully this has helped you. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be anxious. And you don't have to be stupid when you go to a motorcycle rally. It's all about like-minded people getting together, surrounded by motorcycles and the sound of motorcycles and having camaraderie amongst each other. So, have a good time. I think we'll be going to this one next. So if you are going to this one and you want to meet up, let us know. Shoot us a message on social media, leave us a comment down below, and we'll talk about the possibility of meeting up at this one. Until then, stay free, keep it shiny side up.